Henrietta. Thank you for joining me today for Crafty Kids. For today's supplies, <clears throat> you're gonna need, um, you can get a um, plastic bag, put it on the table, or use um, um, newspapers. So this project is gonna be a little bit messy for the kids. Um, you're gonna need some wax paper, and then just some paper towels. Um, you're gonna need some white paper. If you wanna paint on um, darker um, construction paper, you can use also use that. Uh, we're gonna use strings. Um, you're gonna need a pair of scissors so we can cut the strings. Um, go ahead and get a crafty stick um, and then um, a sorted color of paint. Go ahead and get a glass of water to put on the side to clean your paint brushes and get a couple of paint brushes. And um, so these are the items you'll need for today's craft. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and do some string pull paint art and you're gonna go ahead and grab some white paper. I'm going to fold my paper in half. Then go ahead and open it back. Now, um, go ahead and grab some wax paper. <clears throat> and, um, or you, you can do it on um, newspaper. It's, it's up to you. I'm gonna put some on my wax paper here. And I did put one underneath the paper. So I'm gonna get some white string and um, <clears throat> first we're going to um, cut um, maybe about a yard of the string. I'm gonna go ahead and cut a piece at the bottom <clears throat> and I'm going to lay this string on my construction paper. And what I want to do is I want to dab some paint on my string and I'm gonna do a sorted color here. <clears throat> so that's um, where the paintbrush comes in because I don't want my paintbrush to be mixed with other colors. So I'm gonna start with the dark, um, I guess I can start with the dark colors then go through light. So, I'm just going to paint on top of the string. <clears throat> Make sure you get all of the string coated with the paint and Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and grab a different um, <clears throat> paintbrush, a cleaner paintbrush, and I'm gonna do a different color. Once you're done, <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and slide this one over. I'm gonna take this one here. So the string, I'm gonna start from the top and then I'm gonna swirl down. So this is the part where it gets messy. You can wear gloves if you want to. Go ahead and um, you can get a crafty stick. So once you get to the end, you're gonna turn it around. And I want it to So you're gonna curl and then go on top. Okay, once you're done, <clears throat> go ahead and close it. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and grab some more wax paper, put it on top. And then you can grab <clears throat> something heavy like a book. I'm gonna put this on top here. Just press down a little bit and then you're gonna pull your string down. <clears throat> okay, when you're done, you can open it up and then you can pull it. 
part here. So you can try a, a longer and more paint, and then you can um, do other. Um, I did one earlier, and this is the second one that came out. So you can, um, once it's dry, you can cut it and you can, or you can put it in a picture frame. You can send it to somebody, put it on your refrigerator. You can even use these as greeting cards, but um, you can go ahead and try different ones. So I'm gonna go ahead and try another one. So <clears throat> this one, I'm gonna go ahead and dab the whole string into the paint. So I'm gonna start and then I'm just going to gradually with a craft stick I'm going to put my string into the paint. Make sure you don't put it all in the paint because you're going to need the bottom part clean so you can pull that part. So go ahead and kind of move your string around to get all that paint on the string. Once you're done, you can go ahead and pull it. This one, I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing. <clears throat> so, go ahead and get your wax paper. Um, I'm going to put it on the wax paper here. Then I'm going to go ahead and grab another book, put it on there. So find my string. Put a lot of pressure on there. I'm going to go ahead and pull down. made it a little bit different from the first one so you can um, let that dry and then you can once it's dry you can add another color and um, so you can pull this on the side just let it dry and then I did do one also I did a pink and I did a lighter um, blue and I want to go ahead and add another one in the middle. So we'll go ahead and finish this one. So you can um, go ahead and um, make um, the color that you want. But go ahead and um, it's going to take a, um, a process of it. Um, letting it dry before you go on to the next color. <clears throat> so this one... Um, I'm gonna go ahead and use a different color and I'm gonna finish this one here. So I'm gonna make this one um, yellow and go ahead and get my string painted with that yellow color. I kind of noticed my paint is a little bit thick. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and take the tip of my string my my stick as I'm pulling my sh string I'm gonna go ahead and take some of that paint off Paper off. 
So if you notice the first one I did, it was more paint on there, which um, it, it still looks pretty. Um, it, it put more paint on there. So as I um, did the yellow one, I used my um, craft stick to take a little bit of paint off and it came out um, a little bit, little bit different from the blue one. So you can add as you go, just let it dry before you continue. That way um, you don't um, get the paints mixed up and then you can finish your design with um, other um, colors. So um, you can do um, crafts um, in experience with um, using strings and you can um, create something um, it's just going to take a little bit of time to continue and then you can do the second one with um, rainbow colors if you want to experience putting your string in circles you can try it that way see how it comes out you can use regular um, paint or you can try using watercolor paint um, once you complete your project go ahead and um, share it with us and take a picture and that completes our craft today once you complete your craft, your string pull art, go ahead and take a picture and put it in the comment section below. We would like to see your um, design. You can also visit our website for special updated upcoming activities. You can request for a kit that we're um, doing the craft today. You can go online and request for it on our website. Or if you stop by the main library, go ahead and request one at the front desk. I'm Henrietta. Thank you for joining me today and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.